What's up, my family? Tom Arnone, HUD Radio, here to talk to you about Manscaped. Love their products, especially the lawnmower 4.0. Just got mine in. You try to go and use a regular razor, it's bloody. Ain't nobody got time for that. You're all nicked up. Not a good time. Lawnmower 4.0, I'm walking around feeling delicious. Look, take a look. Oh, just got you. Got you, got you. But Manscaped, you'll be taken care of head to toe, guaranteed. Get 20% off and free shipping with code HUD at manscaped.com. Go check them out. You know, if they start with moving arts, you would think that starts to ball for some other things, right? And it not just being Zach Ertz. Like, they're sort of telling you, like, all right, you know, we know where we stand, especially guys on one-year deals or the last year of their deals, right? You look at a guy like Derek Barnett, right? That's a guy that, you know, I don't know what you're going to get for him besides a penalty, but try. <laughs> but try. Try to get something for him, Like, right? If you get a six-round pick back for Reggie White, great trade. Okay? So, I mean, at, the, at this point, you need to take what you can get. I don't give a shit about fifth, sixth, seventh-round picks. But at this point, you start cleaning the house in a way, and not in, like, a, a terrible way for some of these guys, like a guy like Fletcher. I would absolutely take offers for Fletcher Cox right now. Do I think I'm going to get his value? No, but if somebody's going to take the money, like like somebody did with Zach Ertz, then, then absolutely I do it. Right? It's all about people taking the money from you. If somebody wants to come take the money off your hands, go take it for a fifth. You know what I'm saying, guys? Because you're in start over mode. So go take it for a fifth. At this one, I hate traffic, but you can't have too many. <laughs> you can't. You, know you literally sucks? cannot have too many right now in the position that the Philadelphia Eagles are in. So I agree to the poll. Not really a poll to get heated about um, and say a million things about, but I'm sure the chat will handle that for us. Uh, so I, I agree. They're not. They're not winning anything this year. Not like in terms of a division. Yeah. You watch the Cowboys play; they got no shot of winning this division. They're not. A, they're not going to be a playoff team. We're, we're talking about picks. We're rooting on Jacksonville Jaguars today. For goodness gracious, <laughs> because, we, because of Miami, we want their pick, and, right? So, I mean, this is where we're at. So, knowing this is where we're at, move as many as you can move. I mean, Tommy, I think you hit it on the head. I think you could see, uh, you could see a Fletcher going potentially. Uh, I know they move Slay's money around, so I think he's an option. You know, potentially if there's somebody who wants him, uh, just to get out of that that long extension. I think the the deal that they did with him either to readjust the end of last year, or early this year, was to help free up money in case he either opts it opts out or they trade him. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't think they're done. Uh, it just sucks because the guy calling the shots and the guy making the picks is a moron. So <laughs> what what does more picks mean for us? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think they should be uh, in, in pure seller's mode. Absolutely. Yeah, I would say anyone, if people call about them, obviously we're answering the phone. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if we're pushing to make deals, but maybe, we're, we're, like, I would say you send a feeler out there like, hey, guys are available. Let, let us know. I'm not just trying to give guys away, but like Tommy said, Tommy, like you said, I mean, we ain't winning nothing, so. No, I mean, I'll, give guy, I'll start, like, essentially give, giving guys away, per se, if you're eating their money. Yeah. They're, right. they're, they're right. in the business of giving guys away. That. Sorry, I didn't know that until you said that, because I consider for the last couple of days that that was a giveaway. You know what I mean? I don't really care about Ty Gowan and, and another fifth-round pick. You know what I mean? And I know Ertz is at the end of his rope. You know what I mean? But for a contending team, I thought you could have got more. But to your point, when you you know when you you know you Mr. when you uh, when you miss Pac Man the money when you eat the when you gobble up the money, <laughs> obviously it makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, then you're like, all right, I'll take a fifth, mm-hmm. right? Like if, mm-hmm. if somebody called Fletcher Cox and they're too willing to take on the rest of his contract, like okay, well, yeah, you know, I, I said that's how it's always been, you know, Tommy. Like remember, we used to be like, how these guys, how these guys get these guys for like fucking fifth round picks? It's like, yeah, they just eat the cash. <laughs> yeah, you get. I'll take a seventh, and you take all Fletcher's money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then it's like, okay, that's a throwaway. But I'm just moving on from stuff that's not going to be here when I'm ready to compete again. And it's sad. It's tough to move on from some of these guys, obviously, especially when you get your first Super Bowl, right? So it's a little harder than if you had a couple and then you're moving on from guys. So I mean, that's where I, that's where I, I will stand with it. I mean, if guys, if teams are calling, willing to eat money, trying to win championships, here's here you go. Oh. Here you go. 